Citizens book appointments with government agencies all the time. But today, each of these agencies has its own custom appointment system. This is ICAs. And halfway through my application, I accidentally hit the back button and I ended up losing all my data. So and that's what comes in. We're going to do on our actual website from the perspective of an ICA officer who's in charge of the appointment system. So first you'd log into CalSG using an OTP sent to your government email. Once you log in, you see the option to create an event. We're going to call our event ICA appointment, give it a duration per slot of 30 minutes and a capacity of two, perhaps because there are only two counters open in ICA. For availability, we're going to put next Monday, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. because it's a half day. Thursday and Friday are full days though, so we're going to put 9 to 5 p.m. on both Thursday and Friday. Next, we have the option to customize the email confirmation that gets sent to citizens when they book. So we'll give it a subject, a sender name, and some instructions in the body. Once we create the event, we're given a short code to copy. This code is important because we're going to use it to integrate with FormSG. Moving to FormSG, we have a form called ICA Appointment Booking. And scrolling to the bottom, there's a new type of field called the Booking field. All we have to do is open it, give it a title, and just paste in the short code that we just copied over from CalSG. Once we save this field, we're also going to use FormSG's form building capabilities to add three new fields for name, email, and NRIC. Once the citizen visits this form, they can see the booking field that we just created. You can see that the appointments have been populated with 30 minute intervals on Monday, Thursday, and Friday, just like we specified. This citizen is just going to pick the first time slot on Monday, put their name as Tanakao, the email address as mine, and a fake NRIC. Once the form is submitted, if I go to my email, you can see I've received an email confirmation customized just like we did when you created the event. And if the officer goes to the dashboard, they can see one appointment has been made. They can see the remaining capacity for all the slots. And if they click view response, they can see exactly what Tanakao just submitted. CalSG is being used right now already live for real use cases. It's being used in MTI to schedule check-ins with interns, in a secondary school to schedule history consultations with teachers, and in my own NS unit to schedule meetings with commanders. And so far in all these use cases, it's gone very smoothly. So this is CalSG, feel free to try it out for yourself.